Do you want to create better videos using Adobe Premiere Pro? In this video, I'll show you four cool tricks that you can implement on your videos in order to create a better content. So let's begin. Select both of your videos and drag them onto a timeline. Now, I'll be using this effect on my second video, so I'll move it onto a second row. And my first video, move at the beginning of a sequence. And then, here in Effects, Type in difference mat and drag your effect onto a second video. Now, as you can see, we can't see our video. So in order to introduce your video using this effect, select these keyframes at the beginning of a video and it will automatically create a keyframe and then move your timestamp forward and again, add a keyframe. And here we can play with these settings. I'll increase matching tolerance to, for example, 81% and matching softness to 94%. And let's add blur difference. Also here in difference layer, select video three and select stretch to fit. Now move your timestamp even further and again, add the keyframes and decrease everything to zero. So for this effect, we'll be using scale. So click onto your video and here in the top left corner, you'll see scale. So select this stopwatch logo and it will automatically create a keyframe. Move your timestamp forward. And before you do that, double click onto your video. And as you can see, we have this pointer in the center. So move it at the direction where we want to zoom in. I'll be zooming in here. And again, add a keyframe and increase your scale size how much you want. Now, if it's too fast, zoom in on this timestamp section and select the second keyframe and move it further if you want to slow it down. Now, if you want to zoom out, add another keyframe, but don't touch anything here. Move your timestamp forward, add a keyframe and select the same size as it was before our zoom in and zoom out effect. In order to create this vintage effect, you'll need your video and above your video, you'll need this screen tripping effect. So in order to apply this effect, click onto your effect and here in blend mode, select screen. Now, after you do that, select your video and go here in the window and select workspace color. Select look and scroll down to SL Gold Western and it will apply this color effect. Increase your intensity and also increase how much you want faded film. Drag this sharpen to minus 100 and also decrease vibrance, for example, here. And now you can play with this saturation effect. If you want to create a black and white video, select this circle and drag it at the left side in order to create a black and white video. Or you can leave out a bit of a color. For example, set your circle. So for this effect, you'll be using Gaussian Blur. So here in effects, type in Gaussian Blur and drag your effect onto a video. Next, we'll be using Type Tool in order to create a text. So select your type box. Here I'll type video effect. And on your left side, you'll see text. Here you can change a different font, add a fill color, a show color, increase or decrease size, change a style of font, change a position, scale, and many other elements. Now, in order to create this effect, we'll be using horizontal scale. But as you can see, we can't touch anything here. So in order to open this window, uncheck this uniform scale checkbox and it will open vertical scale and horizontal scale. I want to blur out my video in the background when my text pop up. So in order to do that, we'll be using keyframes. Now here, select this stopwatch logo in order to add a keyframe here and don't touch anything here. Now go back to your video and click here, add a blurriness and also don't touch anything here. Let's move our timestamp forward, for example, here. And again, let's add a keyframe. Now move your timestamp one frame backwards and add a keyframe and toggle this to zero. And also at the beginning of timestamp, also toggle it to zero. Now, if it's too fast, let's move our first keyframe backwards in order to slow down our effect. And as you can see, it blurs out our background when our text pop up. Now let's experiment with vertical scale. So I want to fade out our text when I want to introduce my video. So let's, for example, move our timestamp at three seconds. And here let's introduce vertical scale and it will automatically add a keyframe. Move your timestamp two frames forward, for example, add a keyframe and toggle it to zero. When we have created this effect with our text, we need to remove our blur effect where our text disappears. For example, here. So when you have aligned your timestamp, click onto your video 
add a keyframe, move your timestamp one frame backwards, add another keyframe, go back to your keyframe, and here type in zero. And this is our final product.